This is Bailey Cunning from ComNexus reporting live from CES 2010. Most products being shown at CES 2010 are evolutionary products rather than revolutionary. Standouts are definitely the new television products, specifically 3D. Also new handsets and a first look at convergence devices. Qualcomm had the best keynote of the show and brought CEOs on stage to introduce their products. Sharing the stage were HTC, who introduced a new smartphone that is affordable for everyone. Lenovo presented the first smart book. HP introduced a new touchscreen netbook that runs on Android. Qualcomm showcased its Mirasol technology that now features higher resolution and full color. Good morning, uh, good afternoon actually. It's now, this is uh, Walt Davis. I'm on the board of ComNexus. And we are here in CES in Las Vegas, and uh, today we have with us uh, Wayne Fishburne of Cooley Godward in uh, San Diego, and he just we just finished probably one of the best keynotes that I've uh, seen here, in, uh, and I've been coming here for some years to, the, to this show, the CES show, and this uh, keynote, uh, of course, f featured Qualcomm, and Qualcomm telling uh, those about where they see they're going and some of their products. You want to talk about that? Sure. I thought it was an absolutely historic moment uh, watching Paul Jacobs, uh, is certainly part of our San Diego community and a huge uh, ComNexus supporter, uh, present on the CES stage for the first time. Uh, what Paul did is he showed first the power of Qualcomm, its technology, the things that he's done personally, but it also allowed him to showcase the various aspects where Qualcomm in particular has been enabling through their chipsets uh, a tremendous new wave of activities that uh, are really going to power consumer electronics. Uh, he touched on uh, entertainment and media with Flow TV and all of the things that are going there. He had Jim Brown on, uh, on stage uh, talking a little bit about uh, sports. I saw Bill Walton in the audience uh, who was at the Qualcomm event last night, uh, talked a little bit about uh, smartphones and the implications of uh, uh, e-readers and mobile computing. But Frankly, Admiral, the one that caught my attention the most was, and I think really uh, enchanted the audience, was when Dr. Eric Topol of the uh, Gary and Mary West Wireless uh, Institute came forward and talked about what was happening in wireless health. Right, that's probably certainly has uh, the possibility of having the most impact, too, don't you think? Absolutely. When it, and it, what's uh, really inspiring to me is when I think about the power centers of San Diego. Uh, and I was just actually talking to one of my partners, Barbara Borden, about this this morning, the linkage between the uh, wireless industry and San Diego's other historic strength of life science and to see the two converge. So what Eric did on, t on stage today is he did uh, several demonstrations. He demonstrated a, a wireless fetal monitor that was, wa that was monitoring a woman's fetal uh, uh, status in India. He showed a full set of vital signs of a hospital patient in Texas, and then he did, in a first ever demonstration, pulled out a GE device that was a uh, cardiac monitor, an echocardiogram, opened up his shirt, and got uh, all of us watching his heartbeat uh, going, uh, you know, uh, wirelessly through this new device. So it, it was phenomenal. And then, then the other one that caught my attention is a uh, product called Zio, which uh, is a sleep monitoring device, and uh, it essentially allows you to monitor your sleep and your sleep patterns uh, uh, all wirelessly. So uh, really, really phenomenal. Well, I see Don Jones out there, who probably has the most to do with West. Institute coming here. Maybe we can get him over here to Come join on, us. And, uh, Don, we got to get you on. A little bit about uh, how you got West here and the impact it might so be. So we're just we're talking here for ComNexus, uh, Don Jones. Hi. Congratulations. What would you think? Oh, this was great. I, it's, it was great to see the applause. It was great to see the applause that occurred in Paul's uh, keynote here when, on the healthcare topics because I think that was a really sign that the consumers are uh, really interested in the innovations in wireless healthcare. I mean, it was obvious. That's where the applause occurred. Well, you had to be awful proud since you're probably the person most responsible for the West Health Institute. And this uh, certainly demonstrated to everyone here what uh, the impact that that could have. Oh, I, we have so many uh, great uh, hopes and aspirations for the West Institute. It's really going to be important to prove how these uh, wireless innovations actually change lives, make healthcare more convenient, uh, and actually help people manage their own care. That's what's really important here. Great. Anything else you'd like to tell us about? Oh, uh, come on by the Qualcomm booth and, uh, watch, and watch what we're doing in, uh, in health care and, uh, and watch for the uh, formal opening coming up for the West Wireless Health Institute in San Diego. Oh, 
ladies and gentlemen, you've talked to probably two of the most uh, influential people in San Diego in this uh, technical fields. And uh, when Paul started the program, he opened up with uh, asking the audience how many have heard about Qualcomm. And there was a great percentage that raised their hands. But then when he asked about how many ever heard of these things that are in the, they have on their bodies today, then everybody raised their hands. So it shows the impact of Qualcomm, and I certainly now translating that vision into all the areas that he talked about today could be very good for San Diego. We, Go ahead. We, we certainly expect it to be very good in San Diego. San Diego's got the beginnings of a cluster effect around wireless health. Uh, especially, and I think it's going to be a whole other area that San Diego is going to be known for around the world. Great. And I absolutely echo that. Uh, it's an exciting day, and, and the thing that uh, was so inspiring, we, you know, the, the range of topics that Paul was able to cover, his rock star <laughs> performance, and I'm giving you a hard time here, Paul, but uh, he actually did a terrific job on the stage, and I think just represented San Diego and Qualcomm in, in such a phenomenal way. So very proud to be here, and it's an exciting day for all of us. Great. Well, thank you, too, for participate in this. Thank Have a good day. And we'll be by the booth. Good afternoon. This is Walt Davis from the ComNexus board again, and I'm here, as you'll all recognize, uh, with Paul Jacobs, who just completed probably the most uh, best uh, keynote I've ever been to. Wow. Uh, Jay Leno better be careful because the network sees him. He probably, they're probably going to want Paul instead. But one of the reasons you were so successful this morning, Paul, is because you had such great content. So tell us, the, the audience, just a little bit about some of the things you introduced today. Great. So we had a bunch of things. We had a bunch of partners come on. We introduced a new uh, smartphone for the masses based off of our Brew operating system with a partner HTC. We showed a bunch of different smart books, which is essentially a smartphone where you put a full-size screen and keyboard on it. Showed some interesting stuff from the West Wireless Health. Institute and Eric Topol coming in showing new kind of consumer oriented health uh, things. We showed a uh, 4x4 uh, MIMO Wi Fi system that allows you to get four streams of HD content around your house from a single source. Uh, we just had a bunch of great things. Great partners got up there with me. Really fun. That was a terrific idea having the partners. That's the only keynote I've been to for an hour and 15 minutes. Nobody got up and left. Well, I was glad to see that. And we were trying to make sure we kept people in the seats because we had a little giveaway at the end of Flow TV. So I hope that kept them there, too. Well, they didn't know about that till the end. That's true. So you, it was all your content. All right. Well, I, I'll think about it that way. It'll make me feel good, and I'll tell my mom that, too. She'll be happy. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us a little bit about um, what's happening here today. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. I appreciate it. I'm here with J.R. Finkelmeyer from Qualcomm today. J.R., so what are you showcasing today? What we have is mobile cardiac outpatient telemetry. It's a system that a patient wears. It monitors the heart 24-7 while they're wearing it. And it provides real-time information to physicians when there are problems with the patient's heart. Great. Thank you for your time. Welcome. I'm here with Walter Balfour with MedApps, and today he is showcasing the HealthPal. Hi, Bailey. Uh, basically, what we've developed is a remote patient monitoring system that connects patients with their care providers by collecting information from devices like glucose meters, blood pressure monitors, weight scales, pulse oximeters, and we transfer that information up through a standard cell phone network to a back-end system that allows the care provider to log in wherever they have a web connection and see what's happening with the patient in near real time. Amazing.